But um, I think for the the last thing I'm going to do for the stream is um, I'm going to I think I can buy an eagle here. Yes, good. I'm going to buy an eagle, and then I'm going to show you this new uh, pack which they've released. I mean, it's not that new. Okay. okay. There you go. Look at that. My keelback's worth 8.4 on the trade-in. It's not that. <laughs> Come on, man. It's just a cheap barge. <laughs> right. But yeah, that's taken me the whole, you know, and I've died countless times. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get the eagle. And um, I bought the eagle custom parts pack this month. I think it was eight quid in a sale. Ooh. Or five. Or something. It was... It was Something like that. Okay, let's explore that. Yeah, so there's like extra body parts you can put on, so I'd love to take a look at these. Wow. So let's go to outfitting. Alright. So, I guess livery. Ah, hang on. Probably. There we go. Right. Spoiler. Browse. So we got this one. Where did it go? <laughs> On the back. <laughs> Dude, wouldn't you want to? Wouldn't you want to see it from the? Oi! Kick me out the game again. Right. There we go. I think I clicked on this. Maybe that's what's um. been. I think that might be what's been tabbing me out all night. Secret links to pay to win or pay to look cool rather. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So spoiler one. Spoiler two. Oh. Ah! It's at the back. Yeah. So there normally isn't one. Right, okay. So we've got... Okay, so we've got these uh, little Vs. Yeah. We've got three... Three vertical tails. There, there and there. Oh, you got a big flat one? We've got this one, which is kind of going all the way across the back. And then we got whatever this is. Oh wow, that is weird. Do you know what? I think it's for me, it's going to be number one or number two. Hmm? I think I'm going to go with number two and see what happens for the wings. So we've got wings. Okay. We got, it'd be nice if you could see what you're getting without having to continuously go in and out. Well, it would be ah, nice. Wingtips, yeah. there we go. So basically, that's, that, that's wingtip number one. It's even, it's even jumped out of the, you know, out of the view because the mouse is here right. now. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can tell they put more time into the rest of it. But I like this. So that doesn't Yeah, it's look... nice modular. So now we can have... Ooh, look at them. Fuel pods that aren't fuel pods. That's cool. <laughs> and what's this? <coughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This... Oh, no. No, these are Klingon disruptors. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would go with a... Wait. Wings 2... Wings 2 and Wings uh, no, uh, 3 is uh, complementary, you know. Wings 2 and Wings 3 are practically the same. Almost. The Wings 3 has an additional one. It's like a different... Oh, really? Where? <coughs> On the back. <coughs> oh, that little it's triangle. Little you know? That little triangle <coughs> there. Yeah, I see it. Well, to be fair, from my point of view... I like the four. I actually like that one a little bit. And I'm a call me crazy. But I kind of like that one. Okay. Um, but f but to be honest. <coughs> anyway, bumper. Right. Now this is where we could have fun. So what do we got? <coughs> oh, that changes the look of the ship completely. It's oh, like man. a it's like a canard <laughs> nose. Bottom bottom left. <coughs> bottom look, at, left. look at the nose. Yay. We've got a nice. Delta canard, I guess. I don't know. A proper proper canard wi no, wing there. Yeah, it starts to be more and more clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. And then what's this? Ooh, intake scoops. 
Nice. Yay. Everyone likes big intake scoops. Um, all right, and then what's uh, what's this next one then? More canards. See, it would be nice if you could uh, actually put multiple on, you know, but whatever. Um, I do like that one as well. That's cool. So all in all... Change. What's your choice? <laughs> I would. I like the four. But to each their own. Well, they're all good, really. Like if I yeah. go back now and change the uh, paint job. It got, will look different, right? Got the white mohawk. Yeah, and look, it's coloured the parts white. For this one. Nice. But what about if I change to red? All red. Okay. And then if I change the wings to that one. So all the parts seem to go in in the custom skin colour. We got yeah. last one. Do you know what I want? I want in this game the one thing I want because I buy them. Custom colouring. No, no. You see this Black Friday skin? It'll go on yeah. every ship. It'll go on every ship in the game. But if you go and buy skins, they're for one mm -hmm. ship only. You can't. Yeah. You can't buy. Skins. I mean, unless somebody knows something I don't. I've tried. I've searched. There's so many. It's like ten pages of things now, and uh, a lot of the ships haven't even been done yet. But it'd be great if we could get some skins that were for any ship, because it's clear that they can't. I know it's just black, all right. I know it's, it's just it's black. It's microtransaction city, you know. Yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't. The thing is, I don't mind supporting a game that gives you stuff like this. Because it breathes a bit of new life into a game that you've been playing for hours. And, it, you know, they don't ask for ridiculous money. It's not like EVE Online asking you for $100 for a monocle. And nobody, literally nobody cares, you know. Yeah, but um, the difference is that that Black Friday skin is only a uh, total recolor. While the other skins have different yeah. lines. And you know that every spaceship have different texture parts. Okay. So, it, it's really a lot more work to do custom textures look the same on different ships. Yeah, 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 it's tr true. But if it's just one colour, like they've done this, I'm just saying that there are If skins. it's one colour, I'm, I'm I buy totally it. on with you like that if, yeah, you like, should choose the colour of your ship. Yeah, like if there was a universal colours pack that was just like, basic colours. Or, or colors, even do it like in you know, Warframe, you know, you can buy the colour packs if you want more colours. Yeah, well, I don't know how they Because even that it, so. is better. That does actually look pretty good when it's painted all in black. Yeah, it does. Like your channel. Let me just, um... Let's just take a look at this. Oh, maybe the devs listen to it. <laughs> Doubt. I don't, well, I'm More gonna, colors for well, our ships. <laughs> I'm a nobody. I'm just hoping that I'm not the only guy that's asked. I bet a lot of people have asked for Probably. it. Probably. Yeah. And all I'm saying is if it did come, I'd be the first guy to line up and buy the pack. Because, you know, what I'd love... I'd love Definitely. buying. Yeah, because I love buying I mean, packs. like a universal color pack or a rainbow pack or whatever you well, want to call you it. Can, right? Yeah, but that's the thing. You can get them. I've got a whole bunch of them, but they're only four specific ships. So yeah, that, but if it's only one color, you could have the multiple ship. Well, like, I've got the Vulture, uh, uh, the Vulture Vibrant pack, and I've got the, um, mm -hmm. I've got the uh, Viper Vibrant pack, I think, and I've now just picked up the D... The ironic thing is, yeah. I, I picked up the D6 um, uh, textures so I could have different colours, and then um, I immediately upgraded to a keelback. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, and then the keelback, I mean, even I mean, though it is a D6, they're not the same ship because it's. I mean, different. I see this this as as a as a modern gaming culture. You know, it came with CS:GO where you have a tool which is only a tool, and you use it lots of times. But they want to give a personality, some uniqueness, and they separate the game to the tools 
and not that you are the one who used the tools. So in this game, this uh, came as a way of, uh, just like in Star Citizen, it's a ship-based game. It's not a player-based game, it's a ship-based game because you have different ships and all ships have different uh, personalities and they are so separate from each other that you they iconize the ships and this iconization and monetization of the icon itself brings these color packs and and extra packs you know because that's what they can sell on you can buy a new personality for your icon yeah and it's not no longer a tool like it used to be uh, just a weapon or just a ship now it's an icon yeah. And I not necessarily agree on that. I don't know how you with it. Well, I don't mind. I don't think there's a problem. There's no problem because they have I given us. I don't see it as a problem. I just uh, they've could given do us. It yeah, yeah. Way. They've given us a lot of colours. You know, a lot of the favourite ships do have a lot of really cool, high detail skins. So in a way, mm -hmm. it's better than just giving people colours. What they have done. But I'm, I'm just saying, it would be nice to get a couple of universal skin packs on there. I mean, is, right. there, is anybody screaming at me in the comments for being a moron? No, nobody. Uh, that's Nobody's right, screaming then. yet. Well, ho ho <laughs> either, either they don't give a shit, or they don't exist. Or they left. <laughs> or they left, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well basically guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate the new people that joined in today. Uh, we do stream on here quite a lot, but not re so much recently as we've been trying to work on our own first game. Technical difficulties as well. Yeah, sometimes. and my internet went down for about three weeks, which was really great. But um, we're back and we're trying to get some new content out there. So um, with full be... power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There'll be more on Elite Dangerous and a couple of other games that we play. So once again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.